Let's jump. Time to Time to jump. Time to spin. Time to put your Time to put your head on your knees. Time to put your head in your hands. Put your hands on your hips. <laughs> Simon says jump. No, I didn't say Simon says. So you there, listen carefully. I didn't say Simon says. You must listen to me very carefully. You will be out. <laughs> Please extinguish all cigarettes. No cigarettes anymore. You do. You won't get away with this. You won't get away with this. Wow. <laughs> Fall on the ground. There's the murderer! Right there! Good job. Go. Do we really have to do this? Ah, you all have very lovely singing voices, but I didn't say Simon says. Simon says, fall down. Get up. Simon says, roll over. Simon says, stand up. Yes! Brilliant. That was terrific. Really, very, very good. Oh, you've had a fantastic time. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Well, again. Simon says, no. Simon says, hope you enjoyed yourself. Tune in again next time for another rousing daily race. Now I lay me down to sleep. All right. I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such, just a healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. How have you been? I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. Lovely weather. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? Lovely day for it. I have a bit of a feeling this venue might not be to your taste. Why don't you go away?
I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Lovely day for it. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud's home. Day for it. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Oh, you're not Harry. Lovely day for it. You know, I think we wear the same size. Hey, that's mine. What's that? Right, I can take his stuff and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? I imagine. Look at Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my king. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Well, look at you. Oh, to be young again. A magic wand. I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I have a feeling that's not what they use it for, though. Lovely 
die for it? You remember when we used to swim in the river? I, I don't. Day for it. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud's head. Increase the voltage. In Rome, I suppose. That's nothing possible. Day for it. Don't you just love the smell of motoring? It's so modern. Thanks. I saw a spanker spanker downer just now. It was so nice. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it?
Can't we just agree to disagree? Are you planning to get it? Allow me it. to clear you up! Whoa. Let's go knocking down my blocks in nursery. Why are we doing this to each other? Oh, you're a good egg, you are. That's a big relief. Mr. Cleland does so love my magic wand. All right, off with you. Shoo! My God! Someone's been murdered! Lovely day for it. We must catch up sometime. I like it there. Clear up soon, I imagine. What a lovely day to promenade. <laughs> now we see the violence inherent in the system. Feeling all right? Life for noise, pop a joy.
Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorine and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the reform club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, oh sure. Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the general himself to ask for credentials from the beautification committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Lance Hole. That's where they've quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, ah! if you don't want to end up like him. Way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... a house voice. <laughs>
Would you like this? Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! You've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. Maybe the professor can help you too. I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or keepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, and you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm. How? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoring. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. 